That's a question that we get asked a lot. So the main thing that links solid state batteries together is that you're replacing that traditional liquid electrolyte uh, with a solid state membrane or, or separator material. So in a traditional lithium ion battery, you have your cathode and anode. Uh, you then have a electronically insulating layer, but ionically conductive separator, and that's soaked in a liquid electrolyte that allows lithiums to move from, from one side to the other. Uh, in a solid state battery broadly, uh, that'll be replaced by, by a solid state membrane. So you can divide that into two primary classes, which is a hybrid solid state battery, where you have a solid component, but also a liquid component in there. And that's usually put in to improve the uh, interfacial contact between your electrodes and your electrolyte layer, or an all solid state battery, where you have solid, solid contact. So that's a cathode, a solid electrolyte, uh, and an anode. And that's a really important distinction between that hybrid class, where there's a liquid component, and the all solid state, where it's all solid, solid contacts. There's three classes of, of solid state electrolytes and each of them will have their own uh, benefits and challenges. But broadly for solid state batteries, I'd say sort of the two primary benefits are, are one being safety. So by removing that liquid electrolyte, uh, what you do is you, you reduce the risk of thermal runaway. So thermal runaway is primarily caused by one of your electromaterials reacting with your electrolyte species, uh, a kind of thermal chain reaction happening and the, the battery then catching fire effectively. Uh, what the solid electrolyte does is it removes that, that liquid component and reduces that risk of, of thermal runaway. The second primary uh, benefit that, that suits all of the technologies is, is enabling uh, next generation anode chemistries. And what that does is that improves the, the possible energy density. So with this we're talking broadly next generation anode chemistries, but things like silicon, uh, things like lithium metal.